I can't wait to see both of them work when we get into camp uh, in these next couple weeks. So Did you punt say returns, your punt returns will be part of what you do again? Because sometimes a marquee receiver doesn't get those opportunities. Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Uh, definitely uh, try to build my game in every single every single aspect, and punt return is the aspect too. So if you're the best receiver in the, in the country, where does Parker Washington rank? Second best. <laughs> well, well, tell me, tell me about what makes you the best, and what makes him in that rank, what makes you guys special together. Yeah. So uh, to have such great talent in one room. Uh, we get to learn from each other. That's, that's the great thing about it. Um, us two learn different things uh, from each other. He, he has some of the best hands I've, I've ever seen. Uh, he does OBJ-like things uh, on the regular. It, it's, it's really regular to him. So uh, just having so much great talent in one room is it's truly unbelievable to go out every single day and just work on it. Now, who do you think that next receiver would be in that room to elevate themselves to make it a little bit easier on you? Uh, in my opinion, it would probably be Keandre Lambert. Uh, he, he's a tremendous talent. He's just kind of getting his feet wet in the water a little bit. Um, just kind of learning the offense a little bit. Uh, and just getting more comfortable with the, the speed of the game. Uh, and that's a big thing about, about being young. Uh, just making sure you, you you know the speed of the game and you're, you have experience. And that's going to benefit him. You made some really big plays in that Ohio State game last year. How much of a confidence booster was that for you? Uh, I knew I could I could make those plays, so uh, it, it was it was just something I knew I could do, um, and that, that's what I try to do every time I get the ball in my hands. Is just make a play. So uh, the Ohio State game was just a, a pedestal for me to showcase my talent. And that's what I was able to do. I know you visited Ohio State as a recruit in high school. What do you remember about being recruited by them? Um, that was five years ago. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's a, it's a great program. Um, uh, great school. Uh, stadium's beautiful. I just can't wait to get a win in it this year. What was it for you that ultimately led you towards things? Uh, like I said, Coach Franklin, uh, the school, tradition, uh, there's no better education, uh, no better to get a degree from a school like Penn State. Uh, truly a tremendous honor to, to wear the blue and white every single time I step on the field. So uh, just the heavy tradition, Coach Franklin, my parents, uh, being able to get to the games, being so close to home, just so many different opportunities that I could have John, you might profile recruiting battles over the years. Between Ohio State, Penn State, for Pennsylvania guys, how much do you talk to young players coming up from your home state about staying home and playing for Penn State? Yeah, it's huge uh, just to keep in-state talent in-state. Uh, as we kind of started that with our class, me, uh, Michael Parsons, uh, Zach Coates, Charlie Cashier, different guys around the state staying in-state and making sure that we build on this program because this this is our home, basically, essentially. Uh, so making sure we talk to the young guys, uh, guys in the state, making sure that they understand that we're building something here, building something special, and they could be a part of it.